everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm really excited to be doing the color red for my Pride series. Now I launched this Pride series off by doing a rainbow cut crease over on my Instagram. So I will be doing some videos on Instagram and some videos here. This was kind of like a spot of the moment and I realized Pride Month is almost over. So I'm gonna be belting out these tutorials for you guys, which is gonna be really, really fun. And yeah, it's really going to push my creativity and really get my creative juices flowing. It's almost like a challenge for me as well because I haven't created like inspired looks, I feel like in a very long time. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. Now obviously my foundation, my concealer, my setting powder, my bronzer is already done off of camera. I figured it's gonna be the same thing for the next couple of videos, so I would just skip straight to the eyeshadow. Much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base and just prime the lids. If the audio is sounding different as well, I finally got a new microphone. My old microphone just did not connect to my camera, so I had to always be syncing my phone audio with my camera audio, and at least now it's gonna make editing slightly easier. Okay, next we're gonna go into my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette with Morphe, and I'm gonna be using the red shade in this palette. This is probably one of the best reds I own. This is the shade right here called Living My Best. I'm gonna pick this up on a Morphe M433 brush from the James Charles collection, and I'm just gonna pack this on the outer corner of my eye. Kind of just going to like create a cat eye sort of situation. And then I'm also going to take this red all the way into the crease as well. This doesn't have to be neat at all. We're just sort of getting that color down and then we will go in and blend. I'm also going to just pack this on the lower lash as well. I know. You guys are thinking this look a hot mess right now, but trust me, it will all come together. Okay, next I'm gonna be going in with this orange shade right here. This is called Feeling Myself. Feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Gonna take this on a blending brush and just start blending out the edges of this red. Maybe I need a smaller blending brush. This blending brush is a bit too big much better just blending all along the lower lash as well as the top and the blend is looking pretty good I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm not too stressed about how far this orange is going I just want it to be really really nicely blended Okay, so now that we have a really good blend going on, I'm gonna go in with the matte shade. This is called Certified. And I'm just going to kind of just highlight the brow bone, kind of just tone down that color, whatever reached up too high on the brow bone. And this is also just gonna blend out those shades even further. Okay, now we're gonna hop onto the lid. Now, you can obviously do something a bit more lighter on the lid, but I wanna go full red glam with this look. So I'm gonna be going in with the shade called Empowered, which is this shade right here. It's like a really beautiful glittery red. It is just everything. I'm just going to pack this on the lid. Ooh, yes, I am loving this look so far. Mm. It's looking amazing. Okay, next we're gonna go in with eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Catrice It's Easy Tattoo Liner. I just got this, so I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time. I purchased it off of Take A Lot, by the way. Oh my God, this is probably my newest favorite liner it is amazing 
Lastly, I'm going to be taking the shade Rhydo Diamonds and I'm going to be using this to just highlight my inner tear ducts. And then for mascara, I'm going to be going in with my Revlon Sophius Mascara and I'm just going to tilt my... I'm just going to tilt my top and bottom. I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes, oh my god. Okay, so while my mascara dries, I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to be using this blush from Revlon called Hot Cheeks. It is quite an intense blush. Um, I'm not going to go too ham on my cheeks with this because... We have very bold eyes and we're gonna have very bold lips. I figured since we're going red, we might as well go ham. Um, it is pride, you guys. It is pride and you know, if there's something that the LGBTQ plus community has taught me is that we have it in us to have love for every single human on this planet. It's just a choice that we need to make, whether we decide to be better human beings. And even just watching RuPaul's Drag Race, it's like there is no rules to makeup. There's no rules to life. There's no rules to how you get to dress. And that's the kind of world I would love to grow my kids up in, in a world where you're not judged for the choices you decide to make. And I think if the entire world can just see what the LGBTQ plus community has to offer in terms of teaching everyone how to love everyone, the world would just be such a better place. And that's my personal opinion. And you know, it's, it's amazing. If you guys haven't watched RuPaul's Drag Race, you know, even if I'm just watching that and from having friends in the LGBTQ plus community, you know, like it's just, it's an amazing community. And even though I'm a woman and, you know, I am who I am, like they, they accept everyone, everyone from all walks of life, regardless of whether you are a part of the LGBTQ plus community or you're just normal, a normal human being. And I think that in itself is one of the most beautiful things I've ever come across in my life. And that's probably the reason why I felt so inclined to really just do these pride looks because for me pride month just represents so much of love and so much of acceptance and just that's what it stands for for me. I know for the LGBTQ plus community it means so much more which I can appreciate but I just feel like we need to show them a lot more love you know and yeah their flag is my favorite colors. <laughs> The rainbow flag is my favorite color, basically. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. And I'm just gonna highlight my face. Highlight my upper lip, my cupid's bow. I also took my blush a little bit on the sides of my temples to kind of just, you know, tie the whole red theme together. Okay, next I'm going to be going in with a red lip liner. This is from Smudge. This is the gel lip liner in Robust Red. And I'm just going to use this to line my lips. Okay, so once the lips are lined, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Polish. This is in the shade Cherry cherry on top <laughs> so I'm not gonna put a lipstick under this because this is very pigmented um, y'all see what I mean mm hmm y'all girl I love a good gloss moment you guys ooh you guys this look is looking so amazing so far if I do say so myself. Now we need some bomb lashes to go with this look. So I'm thinking of going in with the Hebe Beauty um, collection of lashes. These are the So Extra collection. And I don't know, should we do Dubai? Like I always do Paris, but you can't even see, <laughs> you can't even see the eyeshadow. Okay, I think we should probably do Paris with this look. Paris is definitely one of my favorite dramatic lashes. Oh yeah, mama. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead off of camera, put on my Paris lashes, and I'll be right back. And now that the lashes are on, last and finally, I'm going to go in with the Zaki Zaki Refreshing Mist Spray. I should have ideally done this before lashes, but I completely forgot. So 
so yeah you guys that is it for this red pride makeup look i actually really really like the way it turned out i think it is so cool i mean who says you can't have red everything on your face who says so who, who said that who made that rule so yeah you guys that is it for this look stay tuned for my other pride looks like i said i will be running this series concurrently with my instagram page and my youtube channel i didn't want to bombard just one platform with all of the looks so i am doing four looks on my instagram and four looks here on my youtube channel i'm so excited to do all of these looks for you guys i'm also really excited to get back into playing with color i'm so excited i really really love the way this red look turned out right now mm. yeah so we love it i'm so excited to create the rest of the looks for you guys thank you guys so much for watching comment down below let me know are you guys as excited for the series as i am i am so excited i love you guys so much don't forget to stay all day every day with and without makeup and i'll be talking to you guys in my next video Bye bye